Please welcome the lovely Christina Applegate, everybody. Christina Applegate. Happen. Your microphone fell off. Do you want it? Well, put it there. It's no all glamour. right. Well, they know you're wearing a microphone. We it's not Go any ahead. kind of uh, surgical device. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you know what? I bet you there are these things. Like you know, women have them now. That, that, that's, sure. I don't like I, the way this is yeah, going. I yeah, I know. No, no, no. Here, I'll just, I'll just, just put it down there hair. next to your yeah, dress. Thank you. All right. I, Thank you. I had a nickel for every time I said that. How are you? I know. How are you? All right. I'm good. I'm I do good. like your dress. Listen, it's very sparkly and lovely. Thank you very much. And this, I try to look grown up. You do look lovely. Up, you look marvelous. Thank you. Can you see your shoes? Yes. And your tattoos. And all my tattoos. I know. How many of you have? I'm like the tattooed lady. I have six. Ah, no, that's bad. Why is that bad? Because you've got to have an odd number of tattoos. <laughs> no, this is true. Is it true? It is true. Yeah, I have Who one. Who says? Me. Okay. And, uh, I have one tattoo. What do you have? I, I have a little thing here. What? It's what my it? family crest. Well, that's really nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Which is what? What does it look like? Well, I can't get Come tattoos. Come on, just I don't see it. No. Uh, no, I, it's, it's, uh, it's got a... Well, you start first then. Let's see some of yours. Some of mine that you can't show. Really? Television. Wait, do you have root tattoos? No, I just have them in rude places, I guess. We'll be right back, everyone. Yes. Doesn't it hurt to get tattoos in red places? I know this is why you're here, because you wanted to talk about this. But Actually, believe it or not, no. Really? Doesn't hurt. I'm going to get one. Yeah. Then. Yeah. It hurts on, on, like, the bone if you, hit, if you do it on, like, a... Oh. Oh, no. The bone, oh, the bone yeah. of your, uh, Any your kind? ankle yes. or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hey, how's the uh, Samantha Who? Uh, it's the, great. Wasn't it, wasn't, it was going to be called something else. It was going to be called... Now I just forgot. It was Sam be, I Am. It was going to be called Sam, Sam I Am. Like the then, Dr. Seuss yeah. thing in Green Eggs and Ham? Yeah, but then we got in trouble for that, so we couldn't use it. But then people would Dr. always... Dr. Seuss came after you? Yeah. The, the actual doctor. The actual Seuss, doctor? Yeah, with the hat and the thing. That's um, the cat and the hat. That's not the actual doctor. The well, cat he, and the hat he, came he, after that, you? He's the liaison. So, liaison. Anyway. Um, no, but then people would also ask me, is it, is it like that movie with um, Sean Penn? And I thought... Why would I do a 22-minute comedy oh, about yeah. I Am Sam? All right. Yeah. Remember that movie? Wasn't a really funny movie. So. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, by the way, I, had, I laughed and laughed. I think. I know. Oh, I had. Oh. <laughs> tell you, it, it, he's not been that funny since Dead Man Walking. <laughs> Yeah, so no, he's, yeah. He, no, what is the, 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 it's about a lady that's forgotten everything. She, yeah, she has amnesia. She wakes up uh, from a coma and doesn't remember who she is. Is that has. a real thing? Because I thought that only yeah. happened in soap operas. <laughs> no, it's actually real. And we were actually able to take that and make that funny. So, um, but no, it's a real thing. There's a, a documentary called Unknown White Male that people should see. It's really amazing. It's actually a guy, follows this guy when he meets his m uh, mom and dad for the first time, wow. he meets his sisters for the first time, and it's really, really that, incredible. Uh, what's that uh, stuff you can take to help your memory? Uh, Genki Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Ginkgo biloba, I always, not I always forget to buy it. Yes. But they, I, uh, <laughs> Hey, remember, I remember reading when you were on Broadway, you hurt your foot. Is it better? Yeah, it is better. Yeah. It's actually, it, well, see how it sticks out like that? That's the only part. That's, that's kind of sexy. Gross. I like Thank that. You. Yeah. Oh, you know, close up on the nasty feet. Yeah, don't do um, a close up on her feet. What's wrong with you, you crazy? Uh, send, the, <laughs> send the tape to my office. I'm lucky I shaved my legs today. If you're Me too. Uh, anyway, um... I know. Um, so, uh, no, uh, so, what was, happened? How did you? Were you dancing? Was, no, I wasn't doing anything cool at all. I was. It was during an episode. I mean, an episode of no, Broadway. Did you have an episode? Many episodes of Broadway. I was having an episode. Yeah, and broke your no, ankle. No, it was. Um, it was. It was a performance. When, and um, I walked out on stage, and there was a little part of the stage that was uneven, mm -hmm. and my heel slipped off, and it, my foot went like that, and it just broke in half. Oh my lord! Did you do the, the whole show that? I night? did about a half an hour of the show because I didn't know and what then to you do. Had to say, and I was standing up there by myself, going. 
<laughs> what do you do? Like, excuse me, audience, I think I just broke my foot. Did you have to and see then, that? And like traumatize them. Um, what? Did you have to see that eventually? I'm sorry, I broke no, my foot. No, I was just able to get off during another number that I wasn't in. And, and so, then what happened? You just... Oh, and then I, I screamed for the first time, you know, just... But did you go back I, on? No way. No, I went to the hospital right away. So how... how they stopped the show and they got my, oh. my, um, my understudy to come out and do, you know, the rest of the, the, rest show. Of the show. That must have been I kind know. of interesting to see, though. Did yeah. you ever go and see your understudy do the part? I had, yeah. When I was um, um, rehabbing, I had to go and watch the show a lot. Did it you was heckle? Weird. I didn't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like seeing somebody else she, play the part. You suck, bitch. Yeah. You should have shouted that. I did. Yeah, you should. I did. See, now she's gonna know it was me. <laughs> <laughs> she would know it was you. No, it was totally like you know that like 1930s like you're a trooper kid you know that was kind of but what did everybody was do saying understudies trying do you think maybe she was involved yeah i think maybe she did you know because like, i think understudies do that they they poison they actors and stuff like that all about yeah. eve come on is that the, all about eve does it yeah. happen in that i no i i would hope not it might because i might have to kick some ass if, if she yes ex no they no. want you to succeed <laughs> <laughs> This is actually. Shirley, you know, Shirley MacLaine became famous because uh, the person that was starring in her play got sick. Really? And, and she, she went, went on? on for the first time, and there were all these Hollywood producers in the audience that night, and they said, "That's it. We and want what, her." What happened to the person she, that was she, that, that was that she, who I, I, never I, heard from again? Ever again? Yeah. She so was, you, she you was think like tied up in a dressing room in the back? That's what know? I'm thinking. <laughs> Shirley MacLaine maybe. Shirley MacLaine tied her up, gagged her. Um, but that's, you know, the big story. So that I think show that, business is rough. You got to be rough and tumble. They might have wanted me to not, you know, get better. Well, you so got that better, though, and now it's, I you're did, the big I did, because I wasn't going to let good. that happen. No, no way don't let that happen. No you way. Gotta, you got to fight your corner, B.H. I know. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. B.H. B.H. Am I saying it right? <laughs> I think it's B.H., right? B.H. <laughs> Is it B.H.? Is it B.H.? He doesn't know. <laughs> what does he know? Well, yeah, it's B.H. I just checked on the Google. Come on. <laughs> we got to go. The lovely Christina Applegate, everybody. We'll be right back. For example, my first guest is an Emmy-winning actress. <laughs> oh, you know what? Too little too... Uh-oh. <laughs> she stars in Up All Night, which is uh, Thursdays on NBC. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Christina Applegate, everybody. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. You look sensational. Just so lovely. Thank you very you much. You do look nice. Yes. Thank well you. done. As do you. Except your ties, crooked. Oh really? Let's fix that. Yeah. Let's oh, well, get that thing it's sorted a lost out. Cause. It's just, Why is that a lot? It's just it leans to one side. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were you ever in the Boy Scouts? <laughs> It's Boy Scouts. No, eh? What are I you doing not. there? I was looking for my penis to be in the Boy Scouts. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I was a I was a brownie for a minute. Really? Yeah, I was a brownie. What happened? Um, I was kicked out for cussing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's I, uh, the kind of guest I like. <laughs> Somebody knows the value of a cuss word. Yeah, I, and brownies are a lot younger. They're about five. You know, you're about five years old, six years old. What did you say? You know, I said... Tootsie Fruitsie. I said ass. I thought uh, we, and, you could say ass here. And I said another word that I won't say here. Well, could you... It, I'm going to tell you this. It has a C in it. Oh, boy, that's enough. That's enough, don't... There's, there's a couple of Ks, and, um... Oh, and an R. I thought it was. And I got, I got kicked out. Well, yeah, I mean, because it's the brownies. You're, yeah. Where did you hear those words at five years old? Um, I learned them in nursery school. <laughs> you don't use them anymore, though, do you? Every day. Really? Are you a cussy person? No, no. Now that I have a child, you know, it's it's. Well, see, that's the thing. But my harder. oldest boy is 10. He is a, a thing, a tariff on the refrigerator door. If ever I cuss, I have to pay him. Yeah. I know. It's really hard because now my daughter's a sponge right now and she, it's... Your daughter's a sponge? That must she be is. It. 
It happened that's, overnight. It happened overnight. It was so bizarre. Okay. I went in there and it was just all, she was all pilly and weird. Um, <laughs> no, she <laughs> just like inhaled I you everything. I thought you doctor from it's some awkward. aquarium. Yeah. You know, that. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants uh, came over. Right. And had I, I don't know why I find that so funny. I don't know either. <laughs> it's the idea. Um, it's not of one of our best a... moments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the idea of adopting a sea creature and then watching people in Hollywood try to deal with it. Yeah. I think it'd be great. This is my daughter. She's a sponge. Uh, uh, ring, ring. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm afraid to cuss in front of her because she just tries to imitate. No. no. What age is she? Yeah, she's a year. Oh, yeah. My youngest boy's a year old. You getting yeah, any sleep? Congratulations. Yeah, my kid sleeps 12 hours uh, through the night. What's that coming like? That's good. <laughs> the hell? No, you know what? Sacre bleu. Hey! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that kind of language <laughs> will get you kicked out the brownies around here. <laughs> So you I never want joined a show the girls' about babies. Was it cussing like this? No, um, it's all right. Very few babies watch this show. Very few. I, I, I do agree, and we do cuss on that show. So. Oh yeah, yeah, on your show, yeah. Yeah, we cuss yeah, all yeah. the time. What time is it on at though? Nine thirty. Yeah, you can cuss at nine thirty. We're cussing just at eight when we were on Wednesdays. We're cussing. What the hell? How come you can do that and then I'm on at four o'clock in the morning and I can't <laughs> even say smorgasbord. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. Mm. Yeah, maybe you should uh, come on over to NBC. NBC? <laughs> uh, that's been tried before with uh, with men that do my kind of thing. Doesn't really work out that well. Oh, now, now. No, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> so what's going on then? I didn't mean that, bosses. No, but, no, um, no. Don't worry. No, they they don't. What's watch this. going on? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not much. You don't. Do you not have any show. plans for uh, Boy Scout Day? You, uh, you don't. You don't. I didn't even you don't really normally celebrate. It was Boy but Scout what's Day? the big holiday in your house then? Um, birthdays. Um, <laughs> right. You know, okay. Normal things. Normal things. Um, watching Castle. You watch Castle? I do. I, I, so there's that? Yeah. That's the, all the excitement in our life. You ever, have right you now. ever been to a castle? I, I have. Which castle? I don't remember. <laughs> but, um, Were you very it drunk? It was large and it was cold. And no, I was not drunk. Okay. But it was, you know. Was it in Scotland? No, it was not. It was in England somewhere. I don't know. A large cold castle in England? Mm -hmm. I think I've been there. <laughs> you have? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've um, been there. I think it was on a hill. Yeah, yeah, it's on a hill. Okay. Looks like it, in, in olden times it may have been a strategically easy place to defend. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely okay, okay, been there. Oh my God. That's amazing. Did, was I've also been to a castle on a hill in France. That's a chateau you're talking about right there. Okay. Yeah. It seemed a lot like a castle. Well, it might have been a castle, you know. I, I mean, I don't know. They had castles too, back in the day. <laughs> the French. I don't know if they did. They did, of course they did. Yeah. Yeah. Were you ever did. into archery? <laughs> Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> Made you cuss. Made you cuss. You're like, what? Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah. Did you ever? Uh, did What's you... with the horse backstage? What horse are you talking about? <laughs> Who's on the door? Yeah. Right. I actually, I didn't mean the. Okay, wait. Yeah. yeah. I did it. I didn't mean the horse. Yeah. I said the horse backstage. There's oh, that... a ton of whores backstage. Yeah, yeah. But if well, you, want, like if you the want the horse to come out, then yeah. that's good. Too. It's a completely different uh, it's not musical what I said, intro. but that's okay. Yeah. The horse backstage. That was more like bow to come out. That's pretty good music. Are you, are you a musical person? <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? I was in a Broadway show. That's true. And it yeah, has, that's true. Yeah. You know, I sang, I danced. What about uh, playing a musical instrument, the harp? No. You play the harp? No. Well, with all the archery, it's kind of the yeah, same. Isn't no, it? I've never played the harp. Or been involved in archery? No. <laughs> I, you know, why okay, not? Dude, I grew up in LA. We don't do, and we say dude here a lot. It's not a lot of archery. I've lived in LA now for 17 years. I've only said dude like five times. Yeah. <laughs> They do it a lot. Do you really? It upsets me. Well, stop saying it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I will. It's hard though. I it's know. It's really I'm hard to say. I used not to have that dude. same problem with whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking it or saying the word whiskey? Uh, well, I would say the word in bars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like. I walk into a bar and say whiskey, and they'd say okay. There you uh, go. Or uh, I'd walk into the bar and say whiskey, and they go, No, you were the guy who was here last night. No whiskey for you. Yeah. You go. There you go. 
But you don't have a problem with alcohol, do you? No, I don't have a problem with alcohol anymore. Anymore. Not today. Yay, yay, yay. Well, I don't like um, the idea of you getting all liquored up and then firing arrows around in the uh, LA. <laughs> I don't know why. I've just decided you're. Well, you decided I've been, I do archery? Yeah. Why not? I think... Is that an archerist? Wait a minute. What would you call it? An arch. A, 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 bo a bow lady. A bow lady? Bow lady. Bow lady. Wow. Yeah. It sounds no like. No archery a... for me. No, no archery? Throwing darts? Is that close enough? What? No. Is someone going to win a prize if I admit to archery? Is that why you keep asking me about it? <laughs> it's like I say archery and all of a sudden balloons come down and, and someone you, wins a prize. You got the wrong. Okay. I'll spot the joke. Wait a minute. I mean, a balloon, maybe, I'm if I blew Oprah it up. Right now? No, this is oh, not Oprah. Damn it. Uh, uh, uh. No, it ain't. Can we, uh, oh, we have to take a break and then do the thing? All right, we have okay. to take a break. Do you want to uh, do this? It's a, 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 entertainment. Look at it. Hey, 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 hey. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm here, of course, with America's fit. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 hey! Well, you got an arrow between the eyes up there. <laughs> wow. Don't forget, I'm a bow lady. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with America's favorite bow lady. <laughs> wow. Uh, They're kicking see? Up. <laughs> <laughs> They're kicking oh, him up. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> they, they'll rough them up outside, isn't wow. it? Wow. Yeah, you they do that to me. I have rules. to pay extra for you it. You have but... tight rules up in here. Yeah, oh, you can yeah. cuss like a drunken sailor up here, but yeah. yet one guy's like, Whoa, I love you. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <Them's the rules. laughs> <Them's the rules. laughs> wow. Yeah. Is that, that what he, is that what he said? That I, don't know, I don't know if that's what he said. That is re off, I have to say. <laughs> I don't know if he said I love you to you or I love you to me. He just mentioned a character I used to play on this show a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that show. Yeah. I saw that show. Did you see I, that show? I saw you in that show. I was young. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, for most of that show, I was under the age of 18. So, just... Must, must remind people of that yeah. <laughs> so often. I get it. I was a mere child. I, can you throw me out, please? I think <laughs> you're yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, we're done here. But okay, uh, <laughs> is it something I said? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you more about archery, but we just okay. don't have the time. Uh, so listen, uh, we you have to choose awkward pause. Okay. Or mouth organ. <laughs> A big cash prize. Big cash prize. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> because that's the only one that I'm interested in. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't say big you, cash prize. Your, you your said options big are very enticing like over here. All right, that mouth organ, poo in no, your hair, no. or big cash prize. <laughs> big cash prize. You don't want poo in your hair? No. All right, a lot of people like that. That's not my problem. All right, man. What time is the shutter stream? It's time for the big cat. That's right. See that? Yeah. You see that? that? Like the money was going to go off, and then it's I moved. Because you've been practicing that. Yeah. Well, right. but not with this hand. I always oh, use this okay. hand. Okay. There you go. Oh God. No. All no, right. Like okay. that. <laughs> for archery. Okay. All right, there are two ways to win the big cash prize. $50, uh, you can use it, uh, you know, in stores. Um, yeah. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. What happens there is I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Jeff is the only person who knows what's in the box. You guess what's in the box. If you're right, Jeff will tell us and you walk away with $50. If you're wrong, you're wrong. And what's the other question? Well, it could be a question that I choose out of this array of uh, questions. <laughs> It's not like science questions or anything, right? Is that like hard? Yeah, there might oh. be a couple of science uh, questions in there. Okay. I mean, I am a blonde, you know. No, no, no. That's I don't believe in that. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna guess what's in your box. 
<laughs> okay. All right. So I just say what I think is. Wait, wait I've got to imagine the box. Okay, right. sorry. I've got to imagine the box, and then Jeff's got to know what's inside. It involves uh, some telepathy. Sorry, Do you believe this? <laughs> just, just slow down there, yeah, sister. Slow down, lady. <laughs> Okay, okay. Take your time. Okay, okay, I got you it. No, I win. A little bit of kissing first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready, Jeff? I'm ready. All right. I'm imagining a box, but I don't know what's in it. <laughs> All right, it, it's, uh, it's a box. I've imagined it. Okay. I, it's, it's, it's pretty big. How, how big? It, do I get to ask questions? Yeah, why not? How big is it? <laughs> Wait, 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 you're going to ask him like that? What the hell, like, how big is it? Like, what the, well, you, you, you're making fun of me now. How big is it in this crappy show where guys get thrown out of the audience and everything? How big's the box? Uh, it's, about the, it's about the size of a, a bread box. A bread box. Okay. Yeah, it's about um, the size of a bread box. So now I guess. If, if you want, yeah. Take your time, there's not much going on here. Okay. I think that in that box is the um, discarded skin of a snake. Well, I don't know if that's true. We have to we have to go to Jeff and find out. Jeff, what is in the box? Discarded skin of a snake is correct, by you. Okay, Easy, I can have you thrown out. <laughs> Do you believe that? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man. I was like, they're throwing him out. I mean, all he did was yell. I do that the whole show. I keep wishing to get thrown out. Yeah, me too. I'm like, come on. Oh, let get me out of here. Pepper spray me in the groin. <laughs> Bang. You have a job here at the show? Yes, sir. What do you do here, Ben? I am an audience coordinator. Yes. <laughs> ben, last night on the show, one of the audience needed coordinated by you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, sir. What happened, Ben? He uh, decided to scream out in the middle of the show, which is a bit disruptive. I've had the same thing happen to me during sex, Ben. <laughs> I mean, you coming in and throwing people up. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, Ben. Do you tell the studio audience before they come in here to behave themselves? We, we mention it. <laughs> and so this, this jackanape, this rapscallion, he, he yelled right out when uh, Christina Applegate was there. He yelled, he said, Kelly Bundy, didn't he? he I love you, Kelly Bundy. Oh, I he believe said, <laughs> What a bastard. Yeah. Did you rough him up outside? I can't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty tall, aren't you? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty tall too, yeah, but next to you, I don't, I don't, normally I pick shorties out of the audience, so I look tall. <laughs> then I thought, well, I'll have you come down, and, and then now I look like a, like a little feller. <laughs> Do you like little fellers, Ben? <laughs> Don't have any hiding around here anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so what I, what I want the, the studio audience to be aware of, and you at home, if you yell out during the show, he'll come to your house <laughs> and throw you out of your own house. Yeah. Bandooks, everybody, where we're at.